Drinking, drugs, distract, distracted driving, an all too familiar list of the factors that make driving in America a riskier endeavor. But according to a new study, something else is on the road and causing 5,500 traffic deaths each year. John Berman shows us what is happening. It's troubling to see this sleeping driver veer across a lane completely off the road. It's disturbing to see this teen with his head leaning back snap back awake. Troubling, disturbing, but maybe not surprising. The AAA Foundation says that more than 40% of us admit to falling asleep while driving. 25% say they've taken the wheel in the last month despite being so drowsy they couldn't keep their eyes open. Cab drivers do it, even cops. The bottom line is that people think they can handle it, but there's no rewards for thinking you can handle it. They actually are not handling it well, and fatal accidents do occur. AAA estimates nearly 17% of fatal crashes are the result of drowsy driving. It's dangerous even if you don't fall completely asleep. What does being incredibly sleepy or drowsy do to your body when you're driving? Well. Uh, basically, the problem when you're driving is that you can't maintain alertness, your coordination is off, your judgment is off. Fatigue literally messes with your brain. When your body expects to sleep, it releases chemicals like melatonin. When you force yourself to stay awake, the work your brain is doing to fight these chemicals leaves you in a fog. If you stay up 24 hours, you'd be as impaired as if your blood alcohol level were 0.1%, way over the legal limit, the equivalent of six drinks. Doctors say less than four hours sleep in a 24-hour period puts you in a drowsy red zone. Be careful. Many accidents may be made worse because your reflexes are so compromised. That's what Alex Noel says happened to him two years ago. Oh my God. I'm off the road, you know, and there's a ditch to my right side, and I freaked out pretty bad. He nodded off on a dark country road after a high school dance and flipped his truck. The dashboard was in my lap. Uh, the steering wheel was between my legs, and my left arm was crumpled up in front of me. He was lucky. He emerged with a broken shoulder blade, bruised lung, and nerve damage, but alive. John Berman, ABC News, New York.